Hello everyone and welcome to week three of Maker One Day and the recap and favorites for this week. I hope you all had fun uh, visualizing this data and doing a bit of analysis to see what's in it and what story you can tell. I liked a lot of the visits that came out of this week and I have two lessons for you. The first one is to make sure you don't go too minimalistic in your charts and dashboards. What's important is we need to understand what unit we're dealing with. Is it Fahrenheit? Is it centigrade? Is it years? Is it months? All of those things are really important. So make sure that if you are not showing them in the viz, they're at least available in your title, subtitle or in text annotation somewhere. Otherwise, when people look at the static image and don't interact with your visualization, it's really hard for them to figure out what they're actually looking at. So make sure to give people the amount of information they need. My second suggestion or second lesson is to go easy on the colors and icons. We saw a few visits this week during this review where there was just a bit too much color going on and it's really um, important that on the one hand color is used deliberately and with a purpose and on the other hand there just isn't too much because you don't want to distract your audience from a really good story that you might have to tell by just overloading it with color. And the same goes for icons. They're usually just superfluous. They're usually not necessary. They can look very cartoony and unprofessional. Um, I know that's a, a strong thing to say, but uh, yeah, I would suggest to go easy on the icons and use them only if you have to. And those are my two lessons. Let's switch over to the favorites. My favorites is from, well, it's actually a good question. Akomisar of, I cannot see the actual name, but this is the viz and I really like the simplicity and the color choices and the really small labeling of 1880 at the very bottom of each bar and then 2016 at the top just to indicate what does the height of each bar mean. So these are the years. Um, over time and yeah I just really like that it's very clear that earth is heating up it's very clear we're going in a chronological direction from bottom to top and that we're also looking at the months over time uh, or, or months throughout the year and you can select the different hemispheres you can select the global level I think this is really neatly done next up we have Kimberly Fidel and I had looked at her this I think last week or the week before and this one I really, really like. I think the design is really sharp and it makes me think a bit of the kind of work that Charlie would create, which I say definitely as a compliment. Um, I think the font choice is really good. The color choices are good. And the vistas overall, it makes sense. And I like how she's worked the bar chart for that overall temperature change into that space that is created by the line chart and area chart moving up so steeply. So well done on your viz. And then Iram, her viz I like because she has that specific focus of comparing the two hemispheres and how over time the northern hemisphere is actually warming up much faster than the southern hemisphere, which we can see by the divergence of the yellow line going up more steeply than the blue line. I think that's a really nice touch. And then we have Vivian Ho and I love the storytelling in her viz. It's only really two annotations and then also the labeling of the mean, but I just like how that explains the biggest trough and the, you know, the kind of peaks that come up. And I like that she called out the area from 1938 to 1966. And this is where the Northern Hemisphere had exceeded the mean for the first time. And I stand by my uh, suspicion <laughs> or my, my hunch that this is due to the wars and then the years past or sorry the, the second world war and the years following that which you know saw for example in germany a, a huge boost in the economy as things had to be built up again but also in a lot of the other countries that were involved so i think that probably has something to do with it and also changes in you know um in like industry and you know innovations that just relied on a lot more energy being used and, and you know new products coming out as well so I really like the storytelling here. I think this is well done and I'm glad to include Vivian in the favorites. And then there is Yasin. And I also like the storytelling here. It's much more simplistic with just very short labels. And he's done this in Excel, which kind of blows my mind a bit. Um, and 
I really like the icons at the very bottom. It's just like, you know, a circle for a global level, the top half circle and the bottom half circle for Northern and Southern Hemisphere, and then the different months and color coding those with some explanations. I think especially for doing this in Excel, this is a really great job. And then we have Danelle and his viz is a super simple heat map that shows just how things have changed over time. And what I like in particular is how he's called out the baseline mean. So going from 1951 to 1980. I think that just really gives us a perspective of how have things changed and we can see how those last 40 years have really, really increased things in a bad way. And then last but certainly not least, we have Rob Redburn. And he, to me, is the master of the small multiples. He has created this small multiple pie chart with you know, 12 wedges, each one of equal size, but different color for the temperatures. And I just love how you can clearly see that over time things are getting worse and you have those nice little labels for the years in the middle. And yeah, I just think this is a really neat poster style uh, visualization that shows how things have changed over time. And so with that, we complete week three. I hope you enjoyed doing the work. I hope you got a chance to listen and view this review. And um, we're gonna be back tomorrow, actually. It's Saturday already. So on Sunday with another data set for another week and with another this review on Wednesday at 5 p.m. UK time. Until then, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.